Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I'm getting real about masturbation. I'm gonna share some really important tips because I know that so many of you come here with questions about solo sex, whether it's your first time trying it out or you've been doing it for a while, but it's just not working for you. I am going to break down some of the most important things that you need to know about it and some of the things that you just don't learn anywhere else. So, you know, think of me as like the big sister that you never had that is just gonna tell you all of that sex info and then there's no shame and there's no stigma and we're gonna get into it. So what are we waiting for? With no further ado, let's get right into the video. Guys, gals, non-binary people, you're getting yourself in the mood. Don't wanna be really curling them like this. Let me start that again. <laughs> Can I get anything right? Okay, can we just have a moment to appreciate how appropriate <laughs> this top is for me. I am like the most dramatic person. I don't know how to be chill. I don't know how to be cool. I could never be like a cool girl in school because I was always like really over the top. I am the type of person, honestly, that cries like 15 times a day. <laughs> I knew I was gonna cry. <laughs> and I won't apologize for it. I'm just an intense person, it's who I am. So if you are a dramatic, sensitive person like me, I see you, I'm here for you. This is a safe space. So with no fur further ado, further ado, with no further ado, I like, I'm really tongue tied at the moment. I think it's been a long day and I just, I'm really actually craving right now. I really want some candy. It was my birthday recently and um, I got given a big box of candy and I've just been like eating it to the point of making myself feel sick every day. And so like I had to hide the box from myself the other day because I was like, if I don't hide this box, I'm gonna eat more and make myself sick. But now I just feel like I need candy, you know, for the energy to film. With that completely unnecessary tangent out of the way, <laughs> let's get into my first, very big, very important tip for solo sex. I cannot stress enough that the first time and even the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth time that you masturbate, it's not going to feel great. Ugh. Wait for this. It's not going to necessarily result in an orgasm and it may not be incredibly pleasurable. And that's because you're still figuring it out. Think about the first time that you rode a bike. You didn't become an expert bike rider the very first time. In fact, chances are high that the first time you rode a bike, if you were like me, you probably fell off the bike and like embarrassed yourself in front of everyone and skinned your knee. And if you were like me, then you would have probably cried as well. <laughs> I knew I was gonna cry. <laughs> but my point is that practice makes perfect. So don't put pressure on yourself or feel like you're doing something wrong simply because the first few times you've tried masturbation, nothing has really happened. You haven't felt any really good feelings or it felt okay, but it didn't result in an orgasm. That's normal. That's normal for everyone the first time they're masturbating and the first few times they're masturbating because you're still learning about the things that feel right for you and you're still working out what type of touch and pressure your body likes. So what I would say is Take the pressure off yourself. Do not make it about achieving an orgasm. Instead, just make it about being curious and exploring yourself and exploring your body and learning what feels good. And each time you try it, try a different type of touch or pressure or speed. Now, if you want some tips on what sort of touch is going to most likely feel best and what sort of touch is most likely to result in an orgasm. I did make a whole video sharing my tips on fingering and how to finger yourself. So I will link that up here and you can check that out after this video. If something feels uncomfortable or even painful, do not keep going ahead with it, trying to force yourself to make it feel good. Use that as your body's signal telling you that your body doesn't enjoy that type of touch. You do not need to press ahead and force yourself to feel a certain way. It's whatever your body feels is completely normal. And if it's a new experience for you, then it is gonna take time. So you need to be 
patient. One of the biggest things that I wish someone had told me before I started exploring my body for the first time is that touching your genitals when they are dry does not feel good and it is not going to result in a pleasurable experience and it is certainly not going to result in an orgasm. You need lots of lubrication when you are masturbating in order for it to feel good. So if you've tried masturbating and it didn't feel good or maybe it even hurt a little bit, chances are that you actually weren't lubricated enough. So first of all, you need to get yourself in a horny, aroused, sexy, turned on mood. If you're not sure how to do that, well, you're in luck because I'm like your big sister here. I'm equipped. I've got you with all the tools that you need and I did make a video on things to get you horny and I will link that up here and you can go and watch that as well after this video. Also, I will link all of these videos I'm mentioning throughout the video beneath in the video description as well. Also, it never hurts to add in some lubrication. The best way to masturbate is using personal lubricant. You can just get some KY jelly in um, the personal, uh, I, I don't know, what do they call it? The toiletry section, the, the section where they have the pads and sanitary products and tampons and condoms. That's the section in the grocery store where you are going to find lubricant and something like KY jelly. And if you're not able to get that for whatever reason, then you can actually just use saliva. Saliva is a perfectly good substitute for personal lubricant. All you need to do is literally just spit onto your fingers and then you can touch yourself using that saliva as lubricant. Otherwise, what's gonna happen is the dryness is going to create a lot of unnecessary, uncomfortable friction and it's not gonna feel good and it's not gonna result in an orgasm. The best way to make yourself feel really, really good when you are masturbating is to focus on your clitoris. Now, I did make a whole video on the clitoris, how to find it, where it's located, even some information about how to touch it. So I will link that up here and also in the list below this video, but I will also give you a, a quick rundown now. So the clitoris is actually located at the top of the vulva. It feels like a little bump when you feel around down there and it is just above the urethra. The urethra is essentially your pee hole. That's where your pee comes out when you go to the bathroom to do a number one. And then underneath that is a hole you will feel and that is the entrance to your vagina. We actually mistakenly refer to our downstairs area as our vagina, but that's not correct. Your vagina is the cavity inside your body. The area that you can see when you're naked standing in front of the mirror, that's actually your vulva. When you touch your vulva, what you want to focus on is your clitoris. You want to put lubrication on your fingers, concentrating on the top part of the fingers and using two fingers, whether that's personal lubricant or saliva, and then just try doing some very soft, very gentle circling motions going around the clitoris or even rocking back and forth. Don't apply too much pressure or too much speed because there's a huge bundle of nerve endings in the clitoris and that means it can feel very good but it also means it's very sensitive and so if you apply too much pressure or too much speed sometimes that can actually irritate all those nerve endings and it can feel really uncomfortable. The last thing I'll say here is that a big question I get often is what if I am touching the wrong spot? It's pretty easy actually to find the correct spot and you don't have to worry too much about touching the wrong spot. You will know you're touching the clitoris because you will feel a bump. If you want to explore putting your fingers in the vagina, you will also know that your fingers are in your vagina because the urethra, the hole that you pee out of, is actually too small to even fit your pinky finger won't even fit in there because it is so small. It will actually be impossible to get a finger in there. So if you do put your fingers inside yourself, your fingers will be inside your vagina. If you go back too far and you can feel that there's actually like butt cheeks on either side of your finger when you're going back, that means that you have gone actually all the way back to your anus, which is essentially your butthole. You can put a finger in there, but if you do that, do not put a finger in your vagina until you've washed your hands. You never wanna be mixing bacteria that is located around your butt with your vagina because that can actually cause an infection. So if you want to explore in and around your anus, you can do that, but make sure you go and you wash your hands first. And actually just make sure in general, 
any time that you are touching yourself that you always do it with freshly washed clean hands because the vagina in particular is very susceptible to bacteria getting into it also the urethra bacteria can get trapped in there and you can end up with a urine retract infection so just make sure that your nails are filed so you're not going to scratch yourself and that your hands are clean and then you are ready to go. So those are just some really quick tips. Like I say, I've got lots of videos on this and I've linked them all down below. They go into a lot more detail, but this is just a quick starting off point for you all to answer some of the questions that I get from you most when it comes to masturbation. Now, if you're new here, then hit the subscribe button because I've got lots of videos on this topic and on all sex related topics on this channel. Hit the notification bell as well because then YouTube will let you know when my new videos are going live. And if you would want more videos on solo sex give this video a thumbs up because that lets me know that you are enjoying this type of content and i will see you all in the next video Mwah.